Welcome back to Tragic the Garnering. First things first, it's new playmat time here at Tragic the Garnering. Check out this thing in uh, preparation for the new set, War of the Spark, coming out soon. I thought it'd be cool to have a neat Planeswalkers playmat. Um, this is art that I pulled off of DeviantArt by uh, an artist by the name of Caffeine Heart. Uh, really love the whimsical style. All these planeswalkers. See how many you can name. I can name them all, but I'm not gonna do that right now. You wouldn't test me, would you? Honestly, I can. I know all of them except for this guy. I can't remember this guy's name, but uh, it's really fun. Uh, so I thought it'd be really cool to just get this one uh, uh, custom made by InkedGaming.com. Um, you can send them pretty much any art, and they will make a playmat of it. Totally worth it. So check them out. Um, so, what did I get today? Um, let's check it out. I got a big one this time. Um, yeah, you can see I paid a bit. Um, with the shipping, it ended up being, I think, $22.37. Um, there were plenty of bids on this. Um, and it just so happened to be that mine was the best. So, what did I get? Why did I spend so much? Well, I'm gonna show you here. Let's take a look. Um, first things first, let's look at the uh, the listing title. No reserve, huge MTG lot. Magic the Gathering, factory sealed boosters and packs. Factory sealed is good. Full boxes is good. Um, so here's how my thought process usually goes. You know, I'll take a look at a picture couple pictures and see yep oh this stuff looks great okay I want to first thing before I go any further I want to find out about this seller is this guy potentially a scammer you know so you go to his name click on it and uh, look through it like what this what is this guy all about right so let's check his items for sale currently he has a few tractor engines and John Deere kind of stuff. Let's go over here and check out his sold listings. Uh, mainly, he's a tractor guy, but it looks like he is into some baseball stuff, cards. This seems to be his, what he's really into, because um, he seems to, when you look at his baseball card listings, he, he seems to know a bit about those, and he lists in fine detail all these graded cards, and you can see he got quite a bit for that lot. Um, he says that this magic card lot came um, with a big purchase from a bunch of collectible stuff like baseball cards and football cards. I think that's probably what he was mainly after because you go into his listing on a Yu-Gi-Oh sale and he says stuff like, uh, I am not a collector and I have no desire to fully understand the value of these cards. They're unsearched or sorted, right? And that's kind of the same kind of stuff that he's talking about on the magic listing. Um, when you go into this one, the one that I got, he says the same kind of stuff. I'm not an MTG collector. I have no desire to fully understand the values for these cards. They're unsearched and sorted since I acquired them. I kind of, I tend to believe him. Um, he's mainly a seller of tractor stuff and he dabbles in some baseball and football stuff. Um, but then he does lay out what is actually in this lot. So let's go back and look at that. Um, you can see here, um, there is a sealed box of Modern Masters 2013 and uh, Iconic Masters, um, Sealed Box of Judgment, an Innistrad box, two um, boxes of Guild Pact. And uh, so that right there, I have it all added up, um, is a, you know, somewhat conservatively, somewhat liberally, it's right in the middle. I feel very strongly that these boxes right here will net me back eighteen hundred dollars eighteen hundred fifty dollars um, so that right there almost completely pays for the lot so great good times then you got a full set of commander anthology 2 but it's open so there's no way to know what's in those so I can't include this in like a flip number that I can get back um, from there um, these the board games they're fun honestly <laughs> I like them I'm gonna use these for my D&D campaigns uh, the little miniatures so uh, I couldn't really turn around and sell these for more like 10 bucks anyway there's a couple of them there I want them for the figures so that's actually works for me 
Um, so how am I going to make my money back on this lot? You got a blessed versus curse dual decks, um, sealed box here. Maybe I get 20 bucks back for that. Fine. I'm not going to really include that. Um, it's going to hinge on what's in the rest of this stuff. And, uh, when you start looking close, see the sealed boxes. He did say that there's a little bit of cellophane damage on the modern masters and the, uh, the iconic masters. Um, you got some probably going to be nothing in these kind of little boxes, maybe some commons, basic lands. I'm not sure. Um, this box right here, uh, the pictures were not great. He got about most of a box of Dominaria here, but it's open. So I can't really count that either, but the, the packs I could turn around and sell individually or I could open them. And that's kind of my plan here. And I'll go into that in a second. So the, the break even on this is going to hinge a lot on what can I pull out of these decks that look like pretty good full commander decks. Um, you got a Mizzix here. You got a Kron from a uh, plane chase and that we would assume it's like a Selesnia commander deck. This one here is a Daxos return and you can actually see there's a greater Aromancy right there. So that's 40 bucks, one card in this deck. How souped up are these decks? How much value can I pull back out of these and break even? So the break even point, uh, based on my math, if I sold all of those sealed boxes, all I got to do is uh, make back 387 bucks to break even. Cool, great. But here's another wrinkle. I actually would love to open this box at Innistrad for the channel. And in order to do that, I need to make a little bit more so I can make it worth my while. I figured that box at Innistrad is worth about 350 bucks. So that means I got to make 737 bucks out of the commander decks and the other loose uh, cards that I'll show you in a second uh, in order for me to make it worth my while to open that box of Innistrad, have some fun, crack it open, maybe find a Lily. That'd be great. And then on top of that, I would love to open this box of Modern Masters 2013. That's a $500 box. So that means I got to make 1237 back on all the stuff that's in those commander decks and a couple other little decks and this box here which looks like hopefully our stacks of commander staples um you know like box i found before that was like a commander's toolbox it's kind of what this seems like um, so this is where the gamble is Am I going to be able to pull enough value out of this and those other decks to be able to justify opening up those couple of boxes? <clears throat> it's quite possible. There's so much in here that I could open up all of those boxes. We'll see. Um, not sure if I really want to open a box of judgment. It'd be fun, but I think I'd probably do better monetarily just selling it around as a sealed box. So that is what is going on with this lot. Um, so now what time is it? It's time to open the box. We'll do that in a second. Okay. It turns out there are actually three boxes in this lot. It was a lot of stuff to ship. Uh, here's box number one. It's really tall. I don't know if you can see and it's hard to tell. It, it's here. I'm going to open it and pull everything out. This one's kind of the biggest box. I'm thinking this is what the, the, the board games are in here. Um, when I was watching the shipments on the tracking as it was coming, the, the weight of this I would add it up and was thinking that it seemed like a lot compared to what was there. So um, I don't know if it's a bunch of extra packing or if maybe he slipped some extra cards in that were not part of those pictures. That'd be great. So here's the first one. Here we go. A nice arena of the Planeswalkers all the cool minis i know nobody cares about this but i do i like it i'm gonna show it off here's some game cards look this stuff's rad look the rocks you got a liliana cool fun moving on um here is the other one wow for zendikar look there's an obnixilis figure I've been wanting one of those cool all right so 
also, whoops, in this box, I don't remember seeing this in the pictures. This is kind of what I was hoping for, that there would be some unknown. So there's just, it's a commons. And he did mention that there was some thousand amount of commons or whatever. So maybe there's some good pickable stuff in there that helps me get towards my goal. So I will be checking that one out as well. What else we got here? Okay. We got a box of Commander Anthology Volume 2 right here. Pretty beat up. Look how beat up that is. Um, got the impression this stuff came from like a store buyout or something. I'm not sure, but let's just check. Ah, fully sealed boxes. So that's awesome. So I can maybe sell this complete as decks or pull it apart for the individual cards, which this particular set, the cards actually, uh, I believe, go for greater than or equal to what you can buy a sealed box for. So I may just go ahead and bust them open. And these things are awesome too. So life counters, love it. So go through that properly next. And here is a box of Iconic Masters bubble wrapped. Yeah, so there's a little cellophane damage here. I mean, the box is sealed. Could they have gotten in here and messed with the cards? I mean, it's possible. It doesn't really look like it. So I don't know if that's something that I would be able to sell for full value. And I knew that going in. So that might be in my stretch goals. If I can surpass the Innistrad box and the Modern Masters box, and uh, this is probably the next one that I would open. So there's that. And then here is the Modern Masters box. It has the same kind of stuff on the same spot. Mm, I don't know. You'd have to be really good to try to dig into there and pull out cards, but it's possible. So I guess maybe we'll see. Otherwise it's sealed. So there's that. That was all that was in the first box. Next box. These ones came from Georgia. I don't know if you can tell that with the glare. These are like loose cards. None of this was shown on the listing. Right on the top, the defense of the heart. A good card. Beat up, but it's still more than what I was expecting. So this has got some potential right here. Rares from uh, Aether Revolt, and even all the way up to Rivals of Ixalan. Um, and Dominaria, interesting. So this None of this was shown, unless there's some down there. I um, may have to excavate this. I see it looks like a deck box back there and another white box. Um, so I'll have to go through this properly. Um, but this is essentially bonus, some conspiracy stuff. Um, there could be, there could be great stuff in there or it could just be bulk, but currently it's actually extra. So got that going for me and this is kind of what I was thinking about the weight of the boxes and I would add it up as I was watching it come on the tracking I'm like this seems like a lot so happy with that last box and I would assume this is the other sealed boxes Got some Mickey Mouse paper and some boxes to sell. Didn't pack very good on the sides here. You see, like sealed booster boxes all the way to 
the side here. That's not the greatest thing to see, but it looks like they survived. Got a red deck box here. Looks like it's empty. Okay. Um, here's a box. This was in the listing, but you, they, you couldn't see anything of what was in there. So I'm just going to take a little sample. It's separated here. Here's one sample. Goblin Assault, Sundering Growth, some common uncommon stuff. Could be pickable, full art stuff. Oh, preordains right here. I don't know if you can even see that. I'm really close to the camera. So good. There's stuff in there that's gonna be pickable. Love it. What else? So here's two boxes of guild packed. I'm not sure what the red tape on the outside. I need to like move this down so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Two boxes of guild packed. They are sealed. I don't know what this red tape is all about. I'm gonna mostly leave these alone because I, I think I want to sell these complete. Unless I do really, really good and then I'll open them for the channel. Alright, so set those over here. Inside is another box of logs looks like and here's the blessed versus cursed looks fully intact i would just probably sell that for like 15 20 bucks here's some deck boxes um, i'm gonna go through these later maybe there's some nice surprises in these really beat up old um pre-con deck boxes it does happen here's a Emrakul box with something in it. Part of a deck. Might not be anything much in there, but we'll look through it eventually. It's a cool deck box. Land pack, not much there. And then we've got, um, yep, sealed box of judgment. This one's nicely intact. So that one's probably going to get sold straight across. There's a booster box of Dominaria that looks, it's full. It's a thir that's 36 packs right there. So I may just do a box opening, well, pack openings on the channel. And then here's that box of Innistrad. And this one seems nicely intact. I'd love to be able to open this one up for the channel. Um, so hoping to hit my goal couple other little beat up card boxes this is gonna be a nice big pick video I think for me the nice ultimate guard deck box I even open one of these there yeah it's a really strong magnet so and here's some kind of deck in here let's just take a little peek merfolk deck relatively recent stuff looks like uh, maybe there's some I don't even know if you can see hold on maybe there are some good merfolks in there maybe not merfolk sovereign it's really nothing big but maybe there's something better who knows we're gonna go through that eventually and these all the rest of these look like commander decks Kalemni and let's just pull a little sample out here and see how good or bad this is going to be. Forgotten Cave. These might just be the vanilla decks. I can't, can't even deal with it here. Hold on. Take a little sample out. Mountain, mountain, mountain. Oh, good. I pulled out all the basic mountain. <laughs> Arbiter knowledge. Hostility. Yeah, so these may not be um, souped up too much. It might just be the the regular deck the way it was originally purchased but still there should still be some value in those so got those to go through and the deck boxes are nice too got my work cut out for me and this will most assuredly be a nice long video at that point so stick with me i'll be back and we'll go through it all.